Hi, this is Bernie here with Good Samaritan Connections Life Pro, uh, Life Pro, our youth division, and um, Good Samaritan Pro is our humanitarian commonwealth in the roundup of companies, um, nonprofit entities, and business and publishing entities in the 14 uh, company surround uh, the group that uh, CCI Connections Consulting has talking to you out of the nonprofit today and you know we're going to talk about the devil a bit I don't usually do that I don't like talking about it I mention him once in a while I don't want to give him any more credit than I look at uh, even my own self in the mirror you know what I'm saying pretty humble guy pretty bold some of the time lots of the time one of the things I want to speak about is that life is like a butterfly right sometimes it looks like a butterfly I'm sitting in this butterfly thing here it's a welding, I think Cold Poise Welding might have made it like those big shoes out at uh, downtown there by the shoe store. But, uh, you know, like when a butterfly is going to land on your nose and then all of a sudden it eludes you and you start to chase it. And life can be that way. And you're, you're fleeting around and you're not doing what you're supposed to. Maybe you're getting distracted. Sometimes the devil is like that, doing that to you. And I'm a sales guy, I'm a sales company, I'm a businessman. And I think I mentioned uh, the Antichrist once in a written note a couple years ago in one of my timelines. I've never talked about him on, uh, you know, on my videos on YouTube Adventure Channel here. But, uh, you know, it's worth mentioning. you got to understand the dark side a bit. And in our, it surrounds us in our world sometimes. And in Good Samaritan Pro, we're always talking about life principles to live by, body, mind, and spirit leadership, daily personal self, personal best, you know, getting on with your life in the will of the Father, the will of the Lord above, doing the things we're supposed to do and meant to be doing. And uh, one of the things we can't go with is Antichrist stuff. I mean, it's uh, not in us, it's not about us, it's not the light, at, not the end of the tunnel, but the light that guides us. Uh, it's the light unto our feet is the good God. You know, that's our God above. And, you know, he's not below us, but he's in us, right? Well, if we believe. But the Antichrist, it says in literature, in ancient history, in the Bible, in the Holy Bible, in the scriptures, ancient history, ancient wisdom is an actual entity it's a being the devil is often referred to as a spirit and like a, a demonic spirit ruling around on the earth controlling systems maybe um, of certain things right and there's a lot of authors that have written books supposing what they think about it I don't agree with any of them my belief as I've studied is the Antichrist ruled in a mafia type entity and being and anyway ruled the earth that way and you'll hear some people talk about it about the Islam faith and I'm not I'm not saying that once you get Jesus at the center of your core doesn't matter what your culture is you believe and I believe the Antichrist came and had wrong structures operating in this earth to do with extortion and death and mafia like things okay and that could be anywhere in any culture it doesn't have to be Canadian or American I suppose or anywhere it can be anywhere right but the Antichrist it refers to in the Bible is an actual demonic human being you see it says in scripture that the devil has counterfeit miracles trickery it's called right and they can create things, him and his surface demons out there can create things in this structure, I suppose, where we're around it a little bit. And you don't know what you're doing when you get influenced by this. Sometimes you get tricked. And the idea is, I suppose, not to get tricked in life. You want to stay on course. You want to stay on track. You want to stay on purpose. And I'm doing that right now. 14 company entity is hard to run. And just having this little bit of time to talk to you about this spiritual script of mine in my business company, Connections Consulting, is a hard thing for me to do to take this time. Because I've figured it out. You know, I don't really care about the rest of the world, right? Well, yeah, actually I do. 
because I want my company to make money I want to make business to happen for me but you know part of it is educating people so they understand important concepts right so this is it we're a body mind spirit soul human being you got to understand the whole I don't like talking about bad negative things I like to focus on the positive and if, and if I was doing it all the way I wanted to like Bernie May my person without maybe uh, the will of the father I'm not I'm subject to him he's not subject to me that's God I you know follow directions from and uh, you know so I'd maybe just talk about customer service principles and wisdom how people are to treat each other in economies of society one-on-one -on -one and in groups I suppose and get along in organizations and my customer service business you know that's 95 or 90 percent of the flow of it right but sometimes these little wise principles we figure them out and we don't get tricked often by other things in life and it says in Luke 4 in the Bible there's only three tricks the devil has three schemes he can come and trick your life so if you meditate on that whole chapter you'll figure out what those three things are and they just keep coming back at you in circles over and over and it looks a little bit different each time but the concept is always the same in those three kind of I'm not gonna use the word quality it's uh, three specific devices or schemes is what it is and so you know that then you don't I mean you you don't accommodate people you're more apt and subject to the Lord above to step up and say no this is where I draw the line on this this is what I do in my life I, how I rule my life with my higher power, the Lord, and how I do things according to His guidance. And, and you're less apt to go down all these side trails and these routes that uh, you don't accommodate really anybody with your own being, for sure. You're not subject to that, but you make those choices sometimes. Deceived, tricked, whatever you want to call it, but you're out of the will of God perhaps for a while, a month even, can take a chunk out of your life doing things you don't want to do, the wrong things. We're all human, you know, I've talked to you about sin before, the subject of it. We fall under that sometimes. The less we make those mistakes, the better perfect life we can have. Everybody wants, you know, the pursuit of happiness, a good life, I suppose. And how do you do that? By good choices. Well, if you don't get tricked and deceived into wrong thinking and down all these side trails you shouldn't be you stay on your path your journey your purpose your course designed specifically for you for the maximum benefit the best outcomes you can possibly perceive happening in your life all the quality things you set out at the beginning of your life you want to achieve without all the bumps and scrapes and bruises along the way of life and that's the way it is so in the perfect world that would just happen and in heaven, that is really the entity we're aspiring to as we journey on into the next life. That's the way it is, I suppose. But down here, we got, you know, the Antichrist and the demonic realm sometimes to deal with. And it doesn't always look like this negative thing where it's just a bad thing and you just rule it right away and say, no, that's, whoa, man, that's just evil or that's bad. I'm not doing that. But sometimes the trickery is like it looks pretty good. But 90% faith in something isn't really faith, is it? I mean, you're either all in or you're not. And I don't like using that accommodating subject topic statement that people use nowadays, all in. Because to me, when you make a decision, you are all in. There is no, I'm half in. <laughs> and I, you know, right? Are you half in? Like, are you, you know, no. If you're yes, you're in. You're just either in or out. You know. You can dip your toe in the water, but once you get into the water, you're all in, right? That your decision to go in, you're in. So the Antichrist is a being, and I don't, I don't like making a comedy out of this, but the power the devil has over you, Zippo, Zippo. You got Christ, you got Jesus in your system, in your person. And remember those old vampire movies? You know, you got Jesus. We're way bigger. We're like on steroids. The devil's nothing. Zero. Zippo. Don't be afraid of him. You have no reason to be afraid. You know, just, you know, call out on the name of Jesus. Remember those vampire movies? 
wasn't the sword of Zorro that saved the people. No, they went into those rooms with those Catholic crosses, those crucifixes, and they chased those vampires. <laughs> Anyways, my point is, the Antichrist is an actual being. And so the trickery, can you imagine, like what all might it involve? Well, I don't spend a lot of my time trying to figure it out, right? You just try to dwell in peace with others, but I suppose you should have a bit of knowledge to know how he might trick you. I suppose if demons could manifest themselves into counterfeit beings. I mean, people are thinking about aliens and stuff all the time, and are there aliens and drone robot human synthetic beings walking around amongst us? What if there was demonic structures? And I'm just saying, suppose it from my knowledge of the scripture, if there is tricks, how do you how do you know some people aren't actually demons that have made a trickery, deceitful miracle happen? Where they're actually just like a human being, but they don't have, they're not actually a person because they don't have an actual godly spirit in them or a soul. Well, you can't spend all your time worrying about those things, I suppose, but you gotta think about wise choices for you and make sure there are many voices, many spirits in the realm. Make sure you're finding the Holy One. The Holy One is in you, the Holy One is you a bit if you got that Holy Spirit in you. You get delivered of your past demons and devils and unforgiveness and all that. Okay, let's move on. I don't want to talk about that anymore. You know, it says in the Holy Scripture, in the Word, in the Word of God, that in the ancient history in the Bible, that uh, and the more you understand the, the wisdom of history, you can make better decisions today, I suppose. But Jesus talked about the temple and he ruled over it as a manifest person the supreme being God himself came but he called it and referred to it as synagogue of fools and devils at times because people would get twisted around well you don't want that and you got to watch out because sometimes where the most trickery is is where the most word of God is actually happening and spoken and the ancient scriptures have power. And that's why we refer to them for knowledge. Because there's power in knowledge. The more you have knowledge and understand things, the more power you have about ruling and running your own personal life. You know, when you're just dumb, out of luck, dumb, it's no good. you got no quality of life. You're poor and you're broke all the time. And what can you do with that? You can't, you can't do nothing. So you got to learn stuff to get ahead in life. And... Uh, you know, one of the things I equate to that is, is the knowledge, the more knowledge you have about the end times we live in, the actual time we're in, the ruling time, it, powers and principalities and authorities, it talks about the devil, it talks about his strongholds, his manifest demons and how they're coming, and there'll be a period of peace after, in the end, when God's people rise up again, after they've been flattened in life after earthquakes and tremors have slowed down and such and bad things that have happened in history and volcanoes and floods and wars then there's a time of peace I suspect after that because it refers to them like a woman's birth pains and giving birth but it's, you know, the closer it gets to the actual time of birth it, it's a rapid increase in the uh, like there's less time uh, I had two births in my life with my own kids. I was in the delivery room, so I understand it and the process. But the uh, intervals, that's the word I'm looking for, the intervals increases, the rapidity of them. And, and it talks about all these bad things happening in our world, and they come into a uh, manifold increase in their time, um, you know, of happening and in the last decade we've seen a lot of that like uh, you know I've told you before Google uh, the travesties of the last hundred years and you'll see a, a lot of them happen in the last decade you know the things that wiped out the most people on the earth and uh, anyways and we're dealing with COVID right now this bubonic plague thing COVID and it's uh, you know but 
I guess the bonus is of spending your time alone in your home. People that normally are running around are getting some peace. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta try to find the diamond in the rough, the gift, I suppose, the rose in the thorn bush, right? But, uh, you know, after all this bad stuff happens, there's peace. And it refers to it in the knowledge of the scripture that, uh, in the end times, there's 144,000 set aside people to preach the wisdom of the gospel and tell people about the spiritual side of life and, uh, you know, customer service, even the principles, how that applies and preaches, if you want to use that word, you know, to that, how to do things right when people are slamming you down and banging your knuckles on the counter for do, trying to do good, doing good, buying a good product from them and not treating you right. Well, that's part of it. But the wisdom manifold of it is the Jesus being the central core. And if you don't have him at the central core, you're not really a believer, even if you're doing all the other things right. He has to be central to the core of what you believe. And... Uh, I mean, we, we can do a lot of things right, but nowadays, can't we? With technology and everything we equate in our society, it's good. You know, CCI, Good Samaritan Pro, we like to talk about these things because I revel in the people in humanity and how well they do with things and rise up through the thickest of circumstances when they're thin, some, you know, and use technology and new inventions and wonderful things. And I, I often, and I talk about this kind of thing. I don't like talking about negative, but here, here it is. So you got to understand the dark side enough, you know, to win, right? You can't. You got. You got to know on your hockey team when you're playing on the ice who the goon and the tough guy is on the other team, so you're ready. You don't just go in there knowing your best play. So it's kind of like that, and uh, you know, these 144,000 set aside people are interspersed around the world and they're telling people the gospel and the principles of the gospel in the last days and they aren't even necessarily church people that attend churches or preachers they're anybody and you know the lord above knows who they are i don't i i know me i don't and i you know there's even it says in there in the book of revelation this all is um in the last chapter of the book the holy book the bible it talks about um, there's two of them that are actually chosen where they are raised up from the dead. They're saints, deliverers of evil from people suggesting these good principles. And they're actually raised up from the dead, killed publicly. They're actually massacred publicly and they come back to life like Jesus did. And they keep telling people and witnessing and it. You know, I've never suggested who I am. I've never once supposed I'm any one of those people. I just always wanted to be part of the game. I've always just said, I'm in the game. Whatever it is I decide to do, I'm in. I'm in the game. And I've always, Lord, help me to be the best I can be in whatever it is I'm to do every day. My customer service company, my principles I tell people about to live by, and do work by, all that, I suppose. So that's what I am. And you know, none of you preachers out there, you better, don't be telling me that I'm the devil, okay? You look in the mirror, I suppose, maybe you're the devil, okay? You gotta think about that. And uh, so I know how some of you Holy Bible guys get thumping and you're uh, blaming and banging and it's next thing you know there's condemnation coming down. We don't need that. This is like a principle. It's like it's like a light jacket to you take the heavy jacket off once I get away from the pond because plus 19 is pretty warm. You know, so remember that, and uh, today, you don't know, I've said this many times, that I believe we're going to see the coming of the Lord, as it refers, his second coming of Christ, and to, for people who believe, and where he is, uh, you know, taking us on to the afterlife, to heaven. I believe we're going to see that in my lifetime, in this season of my life, maturity. You know, I went from childhood to youth to adult, now to maturity. And I believe that's going to happen. Well, it 
might happen in the next week or three weeks. You don't know. Because we've had some peace. And uh, the contractions of these major earth tremor shaking things and devices that have killed off humanity in the last hundred years, this last decade has been hard all over the world. Now North America's getting hit with COVID where we've had these godly principles and we've been relatively untouched in a lot of ways. 911, the Twin Towers, that's almost 20 years ago now. You know, so uh, we've had a good life. You never know. All I'm saying is be ready and live ready and, and do right by you and the Lord every day in my principal book in this and uh, do your best and I trust you've probably made that decision that you are ready if he did return today or the next three weeks or whatever I don't know no one knows the hour or the day but uh, I'm hoping you made that decision and uh, I feel assured in my prayers for me and others that uh, the Lord has assured me that uh, anybody that's hearing the message and is maybe even following me in my book of business and my company is on the right track and they're moving forward in the right direction and uh, they are they have made the right decisions for their eternity and their future life too and you remember the gospel is an administration and this is part of my teaching benefit here in this company of mine this business book I have is teaching the administration of the gospel of these principles so go with that and go well live better live well and live ready and be in health be in wonderful good health as we go on into this day blustery 19 degrees and we'll see you at the bank with my next book of business I suppose as we book more contracts with you beyond the 14 renewable contracts I have and do more you know I'm looking for business I'm readjusting my plan a bit this year because of COVID scaling down some of my initial you know judgment on what we we're going to do when I planned it at New Year's but uh, we're still working ahead and moving into the market forward and planning to do all the things we said we're doing in uh, 2020 I suppose just a little bit scaled down Bernie May Connections Consulting 1403-519-3495 wconnectionscon.ca